I knew it was going to go live at some point. It's your boy, High Five Vega. <laughs> this is Thursday's, the best streaming day of the week. This is Reverse Polarity. I'm joined, as always, by the man who I think maybe he sleeps every now and again. The guy who can finish a salad before a show, but not always. <laughs> and, and the one who loves Morel. His name's Dean Fayette. He has a very small YouTube channel. You might have heard of it by Star Car Stereo. And uh, they do YouTube things and speakers. And Dean tells people to turn their gains all the way up. Things all the way like up, that. man. All the way up. All the way up. Break the knob off. Hot cold. <laughs> CA that bitch. What's going on, man? What's up? How's it been? It's been exhausting. Not going to lie. It's been a oh, very man. exhausting week. I, listen, I made a new banner for you. I made this just before the show started because <laughs> I had a feeling it's been a week. Oh, uh, it's been a week. I mean, <laughs> last, like, so let's see. Thursday of last week, I think we had finished the Porsche, the Brax yeah. system. I think we did it, but he didn't take delivery of it until Monday. Um. We did find out a few things that were really interesting about the car. When the battery goes low, the computer does not like the car at all. Like, and the problem is, is that since it's a hybrid, you don't really under, like, so this was an interesting problem that we figured out is that because it's a hybrid and you just turn the key, the engine doesn't start. It just does its hybrid crap. Right. Well, if the, if the battery is low, that like runs everything. You so like the starting battery or yeah like yeah the, the starting battery. battery no okay. the starting battery yeah and you, you really don't know that it's low because the car doesn't care but right. the electronics give a shit yeah so you know because we, it's European and exotic and they have yeah. like electrical gremlins like a yeah microphone. so it was really strange because like you know it was one of those sat so Friday was great Saturday I went to pull the car out and like all the cameras but the passenger side camera worked. Yeah. And I was like, the hell? So <laughs> middle of the day, none of the cameras were end of the day. That camera was working again. Fernando gets in Monday to pull it out. Only the backup camera works. And uh and I'm like, so he comes over and he's like, dude, what's up? I was like, I don't know, man. I I, I think it's a battery. And so he did some research and um walk in Dean yells, shit. Yeah, no, that was about <laughs> it. <laughs> Um, more of an MF guy, but yeah, yeah sh shit is like it'll work in a like, pinch. <laughs> yeah, shit is okay, but so it was it was a weird thing. It was, and, and like he went online. He, it's like everyone complains about this thing, and then the next you know. So we did a couple things, and we we did, and it's like boom, then they worked, and we're like, oh, which we knew that was the problem, but it was still right. like, I just want this car gone. <laughs> You know, so I was telling the customer about it and he's like, really? I was like, yeah. So if you ever like are sitting in your garage, listening to your stereo for four hours and then your backup cameras don't work, um, this is why. Got to run a like, trickle charger on it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Dude. And it's, and it's in the passenger footwell. Oh, great. Do they have like charging points, like boost points up for I'm it? I'm sure there's something underneath the hood, but we yeah. never looked because it was yeah. like, wow, what a convenient place for a battery. <laughs> Literally, I mean. So, other than taking all the door panels and the A-pillars off, like, as far as taking the car apart, it's like, you never have to take the radio out of the dash. Like, I had to take up the passenger floor sill and that side panel on that side, and that was it. Yeah. And it was like, and for now, I was like, I was like no, I'm not taking any more of this car apart that I have to. You know, we, we, we're doing this. Everything's going to go here or nowhere. Right. Like, okay. So, but, uh. You know, I, I see Scott in the chat. Did you catch him at all the other night on uh, Unmasked? Talking about that Skills USA thing that he did? No, oh, dude, I missed it. I watched, um, was it, who was else was on that? Was Tim on that show in the beginning? Yeah, Tim was on after him. And I missed it. I must have dipped out before uh, before he got on. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, <laughs> they did, so they so that skills you say thing looks really cool, by the way. I, yeah, it I does love, for sure. I would love to to, to do that. Um, I know a few things. Um, but what was funny is, so I get a, I get a text from Bill the next day, and he goes, "Sorry," and I was like, "Oh shit!" And uh, 
apparently when they were answering their three questions, Bill had asked me earlier in the day about one of the questions and he's like, Hey, how would you do this? And I was like, I, I'd do this. Yeah. And I said, so, you know, it was, it was a complicated answer to the question. And I go, so I would pick a different question. Cause like, he's not going to be able to pull this off. He's like, yeah. no, no, he, he really wants to. I was like, all right, we'll have him call me. And so then he never called me. And then, so he went with whatever information I gave Bill, which was totally wrong. <laughs> and so then he tried to answer the question and he, he did it with such confidence and he name dropped me twice. And I was like, <laughs> got him. Yeah. I was like, that wasn't the answer to the question, but so that was, that was kind of funny. I laughed. So Scott, you messed it up basically. No, Scott was on after that. So Scott, Scott did. No, so, know... so who messed it up then? No, Aaron did. He just answered the question wrong. You know. He oh, like, yeah. He Aaron, like, I got a bone to pick with you. You're wrong, sir. I, I don't care. I don't have a bone to pick with him. He's the nicest guy yeah, in the world. So he I'm, is. You yeah. know, it's like he's almost sure. too nice. Just I hate it when people are that nice. <laughs> it's like why? You got to no. be like me. Like I'll be nice, but then I throw in a, like a little bit of shit talk with it. You got to make yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm not nice. I'm just, I'm just evil. <laughs> Which is a lie, but you know, so. <laughs> that's actually one of the conversations we were having at work this week. I was like, she's got to be nice to everybody. And he's like, I don't know. I was like, what? It's, it's, what's, what's it going to do? What if they're jerks? I was like, what if they're jerks? Who cares? Yeah. You know, this has been uh, Attitude Talk with Dean and Mr. High Five Vega. Dean teaching moment. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Teaching moment, like man. Be nice so. to people. So back to the Helix, it was kind of funny because his wife came in today because they eat at a sushi restaurant next door. So she stopped in to talk to Paul for a second. And uh, I guess he just sits out in his garage now for hours listening to his stereo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. Well, I mean, I it like, did cost him a little bit of coin. So he's probably like, you know what? Eh. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this. You know, it is. I mean, but that's the thing, though. I mean, you, you know, you really, I, I was funny, too, because I was talking to, uh, I was talking to Larry Penn, who, for those of you guys who don't know who Larry Penn is, he owns a company called MSC. MSC is the distributor for Helix, um, Blam, uh, Stinger Radars here in the U.S. And he's going to be in town um, the second Thursday, I think it's the 14th yeah a thursday which is like like the day after i get back from vacation so we won't be doing a show that day but i'll be doing a show that day because he's coming into town so he's like ah can we do a show and i was like of course because uh he i guess helix has some new products they want to announce and stuff like that and i was like hi five will be bummed but you know I'll, I'll i'll make it happen day off <laughs> yeah you get a day off um but uh and he was telling me the story he goes yeah it was funny we just delivered this ferrari to this like he was a 64 year old guy, Ferrari. And uh, he said, he, he called him the next day and he was like, you know, hey, how's everything going? And he's, oh, it's car is great. My wife is pissed. And he's like, why? He goes, because he goes, last night I was sitting in the car listening to music in the dark. And she walked into the garage and because it was in the dark, she didn't see me sitting in the car. So she was walking around the house trying to find me. <laughs> and I was like, that's that's a pretty good story. It's a pretty good yeah. story. He was, you mean he wasn't revving it? How can you sit in a Ferrari and not rev it? Because you're listening to the stereo, man. No, hell no. I'm listening to the exhaust. Like, if we got Ferrari money, like I'll have a, a system in a car, but not the Ferrari. I don't know. I'm not a I Ferrari just, guy. Yeah, I'm really not any exotic guy. Like, I wouldn't want a Lamborghini or Ferrari, even a Porsche. Maybe that would probably be the extent of where I'd go. A Porsche. Yeah. Yeah, like a okay. 911 GT3 or something like that would be cool. I mean, if I if if I had the silly Porsche money, I would want the one with the big dumb wing and the stickers and you know all yeah. that all that bullshit because I just think that looks cool. Um, we were talking today because uh, too small for big guys. Yeah. I want a Ferrari 355 with the system. <laughs> I like the old. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I uh, you know Tom Selleck all the way, baby. Yeah, uh, I I don't know, man. Yeah, we were talking about that today because Fernando's like, you know, if you had Lamborghini money, would you buy a Lamborghini? I'm like, I don't know, man. I just 
Yeah. I, I don't, it's not that important to me to have one. You know, it's like if I, even if I had Lamborghini money and I was interested in Lamborghini, I'd probably buy a used Lamborghini and then like something else with it. Like maybe a super or something. Yeah. Um, are we trying to get El Fuego's uh, goals here? Is that, is that what's happening? Oh, he's, he's uh, setting up the system. Yeah. Oh, ooh, dang. I listen. I I've got. Let me pop it up here. So I had a. Poll oh, we got a poll. Let's it do the it poll. fits. It fits with our topic today, which also fits with your build. And our topic is: Where is your money best spent in car audio? Hmm. Signal processor, subwoofer, amplifiers, speakers. Uh, installation. installation pro install. Okay, so Wired, and and this this poll is actually what part of your system costs the most? Like whoever in, oh, okay. the, in the audience, what what costs the most? Oh, okay. So what costs the most? I could see amplifiers being the most expensive. Right. I think some people are buying some real shitty speakers. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Must um, be. Yeah, but I mean, okay. I would so... say that's kind of common though, because I would say the majority of the people that that watch your channel are like they want like some subs and an amp would be yeah. their first upgrade probably yeah um the installation gear kind of threw me off like a, a pro installation i mean like wire whether you get a pro installation whether you do it yourself you get wired deadener a battery or two an alternator all that stuff see like the problem like with so like when you look at sound treatment a lot of guys uh screw that up when you're when you're looking at what the cost of sound treatment is because yeah. sound treatment is one of the most expensive things you're going to do but a yeah. lot of people don't understand that because they'll just go buy so the guys that go buy like the cheap amazon or cheap no-name brand sound treatment okay whether you're buying cheap sound treatment or the best sound treatment it's going to cost you the same amount of money and time to put it on so yeah. you might as well get the best that you can because you don't want to do that shit twice because <laughs> it's a pain. <laughs> so, and, and, and there again, when I say money and time, whether you're paying someone to do it or you're doing it yourself, doing it yourself. right. Every amount, every, everything has a price. Okay. It might not be a financial price. Like, Hey, I'm going to save money because I'm going to do it myself. Perfect. Yeah. You're going to save money for doing it yourself. Um, what what are you giving up in order to do that? Like if you live alone, you got nothing to do, you know, you live the solitary life and all you're going to be doing is watching TV on Saturday and Sunday and you decide to put your sound treatment in, move the TV out into the garage and spend the day putting sound treatment in. It isn't costing you a dime, you know, because you weren't going to do anything anyways. And the only thing yeah. you're going to spend money on is Band-Aids. Um but for the rest of the people that like, hey, I got a wife and kids or I got take time off work or, you know, I could be mowing the yard or I could I could be doing X, Y or Z. That's what it's costing you, you know. So, yeah, there, there's always an expense with DIY. But yeah, a lot of people a, don't see it that way. Well, and, and I just equate it like the simple way to do it is what do you get paid hourly roughly at your job? Right. Because that's what your time is worth. It literally is what your time is worth to somebody. Right. So now if you if you look at like the savings, so like yeah. if, if you go to a retailer and they're charging $110 an hour and you're you're going to get paid and you get paid, let's say, 25, 30 bucks an hour. And it's like, OK, so I'm going to save 70 bucks an hour doing it myself. That, that makes that argument makes 100 percent sense in my world. Because yeah. at least you're putting the value of your time into the equation and then saying, I'm saving this amount of money, but to, I'm saving hundred. You're not saving $120 an hour. You're yeah. Not, because what is your time worth? Um, you know, I always look at that when it's like mowing your grass. I don't mow my grass because I work six days a week, a million hours. The last thing I want to do is get up Sunday morning and cut yeah. my grass. I mean, it's hard enough just editing the one video I edit Sunday morning, <laughs> you know, that it literally it, it's that's that's like torture um, just because it's like it's my time. So, yeah, you know, I'll gladly pay somebody. I don't I don't even know what it like a 100 bucks a month or some crap like that, because 
it's not worth my time. I don't even think it's that much. I it's it's yeah. pretty. I think it's like eight twenty bucks a week or something stupid like that. Oh, that's cheap. You got a good yeah. guy. I, we yeah we 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 had a good guy. I don't know what the new yeah. guy is charging us because our guy finally retired. But my point is is it's it's not even worth it. It's it's not yeah. even a question of do I pay it? Oh God, yes, you pay it because it's worth every penny of it. Now I'm not gonna now if I was it would cost me money to cut my own grass. Right. <laughs> you know. Well, and here's a perfect example. Like in in the Hyundai, I actually have a bunch of the cheap Matt 66 in there. But when I'm doing that, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. I'm doing it because I have a YouTube channel. So the time investment for me is like an investment in the channel. Yeah. And I'm trying something for somebody else. Turns out I I like it. I think it's good, you know, for, for budget stuff. But it, like you said, it, it could have went horribly wrong. It could be the asphalt smelly stuff. Oh it's, yeah, it's not worth your time. It it or turned it out to be drip out of the bottom of the door. It I could mean, it could drip out of the bottom of the door. And I try I actually tried another suspect one. Um, so I tried that one, and I tried Sonic Barrier in the doors, which I have heard of people having it drip out the doors. So I was paying close attention to that. It's been two, three summers since I've done that. And it's perfectly fine in, in our 100 plus degree heat. But yeah, I mean, it was a risk. It was definitely a risk. It wasn't no, I guarantee this is going to be a good result. It just, yeah, it turned out. Well, good. you know, the one guy who did a ton of research on sound sound treatment, I mean, it, it is Nick Apicilla. Yeah. You know, and he sells the Resinex stuff. Um, I mean, I was talking to him about that stuff and he has gone so deep into the woods on sound treatment like yeah. so deep into the woods and the stuff he has made um is is like i i'm like i i don't even i don't even i don't even know how to like i can't pitch whatever it is you're cooking because yeah. it's like but there again he did the research i mean he he scientifically worked his way through all this stuff and he said it was you know and and he has all this documentation and you can read it all on his website and it's yeah. like holy crap like because and I, there is there is there some was a guy on, to it. on 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 uh Dima that done a bunch of testing before and he helped that guy do the testing for the second round mm-hmm. so he, they've got a lot of data on it and oh yeah i, yeah. I wonder like that's just very expensive resinex is very very expensive yeah but it's it's dope like it's super oh, dope yeah. Like, Dude, I got a box of it waiting to go in my car. Yeah, it's it's like very <laughs> you know? very nice stuff. I, I if wonder. It ain't enough, I'm buying more. Right. I, I wonder like the actual like quantitative difference between using that and maybe a middle grade. Well, you know, you mean where where is it worth? Where is the you know? I I look yeah. at it like this. There's always that one guy that's like, listen, give me the nine thousand series RCAs. Give me the platinum plated this. Yeah. Give me give me the best of the best. Thank you. You know, and and they're willing to pay it. They're they're not sitting there trying to like they understand the concept of you get there there's nothing there you never get something for nothing. There's mm. always a price to be paid. Always a price to be paid. You might not see it at first, but it's there's gonna there's the the, the devil has its dues. And 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 life is just that way. So you know, you bend over and you pick up a 20. I almost don't even want to do it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm hoping somebody else sees it because I know if I bend over and pick up that 20, damn it, I'm going to pay for it later. Yeah. You know? Or you might but drop a like, hundred out of your pocket. You know, sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so it's like it, it, we, were, we were walking we were in Orlando. We were walking to, the, to our, teach our class and Freddie goes, holy shit, that's a 20 on the ground. He saw it. I mean, he was like a little kid. He saw it from yeah. miles away. I'm like, I can't even see it. And so I see it there. And I was like, he was he was pulling the big box. So I bent over yeah. and picked it up and I stuffed it in his pocket. And I was like, here you go, bro. This <laughs> that's all your you. karma. You know, <laughs> I don't want no part of this shit. Because I, yeah. I mean, but that's just because I'm bad. You know, I right. just I just uh uh what's uh that's why I got the ground zero stuff. Yeah, the ground zero stuff is sweet, man. Yeah, um, yeah, that that's like a and that's not a low end kitty. That's like a pretty high. Oh, yeah, no, it's 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 a high end kit. I would but say there, like if, there's if, there's a lot of differences. And like I said, if if you really yeah. want to go down the rabbit hole of sound treatment, 
it, there's more to it than thickness and and yeah. uh, like you're saying all there's a lot because dude i got some stuff stuck to my back door that this guy gave me it was some new spl stuff they were working on it's yeah. a quarter inch thick okay and it's been stuck there for a really long time and it, yeah i mean dude it's literally like it's it's almost like sticking a piece of quarter inch abs to the surface that's how thick this yeah. shit is um but it takes probably six months to dry and adhere yeah you know? have you seen um, the new so this is not a resin x ad but i did no. see him post a new it's like a foam like almost like a, a mass loaded vinyl foam mm -hmm. mixed with like closed cell foam but it's meant to make cover holes like you know yeah. typically you'd make an abs I got a sheet of it. yeah that that stuff looks dope yeah he sent me a sheet of that yeah there again haven't you know that's so for somebody that doesn't want to fabricate and bend abs i mean that's a pretty well so my thought on that stuff uh like because mass whatever I, mass loaded vinyl yeah I, I don't, I don't, I've, there is no, what, what, that's one of those things like, where, where, I don't, where you, I don't, I, I don't know like that, 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 that's for the road noise and stuff. That, yeah, but it, it's, 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 it's almost like a fiction thing. Like, yeah, there's nobody that sells a product called mass loaded vinyl. Okay. When oh, I think so it's, it's not like there's no Kleenex of yes. mass loaded vinyl. Is that what you mean? Yeah, there's, there's, but I mean, right. it's like, it's just, it's the same shit. Right, right. Um, and it's a nightmare. It's really a nightmare. If you want mass loaded <laughs> vinyl, so to speak, yeah, go to your Home Depot and pick up the liner shit that you use to put underneath a bathtub or a, a, or tile, you know, yeah. that, that thick rubber, like, and just yeah, stick I that to the door. That's mass yeah. loaded vinyl. Yeah, because it's, heavy. Shit it's heavy as hell. It's heavy as yeah, hell. Yeah. You got to use yeah. a heat gun. And I'll, like, I've, I was just, I wanted to try it and see what it's like. No, I'm. I'll never. I'll never do a full install with that. It's just well, so the, the CLD the towels, thing, closed cell foam. Like well, I'm the other good. thing too. The the like I'm all for the guys like making the panels. We've made them ourselves. Like we have some of the panels, especially for F 150s But cars are getting harder to do that now because they yeah. have the indented surfaces and all that other fun stuff. So it's really hard to do that. But you know, once you've added sound treatment to both sides and you put that sounds like mass loaded bullshit I'm, I'm i'm not saying you're wrong um as soon as you put that door panel back on um most of the time those holes those line up with something that's on the door panel so it's yeah it's usually not like there's a giant cavity there in that she it's you know like when we put an f-150 door panel back on after we've added sound treatment to both all three surfaces right that door is going on like push harder yeah <laughs> you know that's yeah thick rubber thick exactly rubber. whoa yeah hey. we're no lambskin here bro <laughs> <laughs> no but i i think you know there is like so like if you want a top of the line sound dampening resin x is probably one of your go to oh yeah your it's main go -to. like yes they're, Them they're... And, and second skin i would say is is right there as well second skin and after that skin. i honestly i fall out because there's so many I think I don't think anybody else is like on this super high end. I, then, I don't know. Then you got like you know you know Ground Zero Dynamat. Uh, well, there's Hushmat. so many. There's so yeah. many Sound Shield, Sound Skin, Sound. Oh yeah, this, I like skin that. Like the Sound Shield, I like the Sound Shield because it's two in one. Yeah, it's CLD and the and so it's like I can just put. Well, it's that funny on. because the other day I you know I wore you know I do the hat Sundays. Um, we'll get to you in a second, Ryan. I haven't forgot you. Um, I wore you know I put my hat do the, do the brand hat sunday because i have all these yeah. hats and i'm i like hats i'm not a t-shirt guy i have a ton of t-shirts but i'm more of a hat guy um and i only wear hats like one day a week just because i, I don't have time to wear them anytime else yeah. and uh so i put on the dynamat hat <laughs> and i got a text from sound shield bro what does it take to get? I'm like, send me a hat. <laughs> Dude, yeah, send me a hat. You know, they got cool I mean, hats too. There's like have the green lettering and yeah. I, you know, and I know those guys. It's not like I don't yeah. know those guys. I mean, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's um like I think Brian Schmidt owns part of the company, which is Mobile Solutions. So it's like, I believe so. Yeah, yeah and they bought it like, from the Australian guys, right? Uh, no, they, they well, okay, the, so the American, the, the American sound... version of it, right? Well, no, it's not. It's 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 different now because that was Sound Shield, and this is Sound Skin, or this is Sound right. Skin. One they the, whatever it was, one was this, and then that went sideways, and so they started their own company. So, 
Ah, uh, and that's I, the, the original. Now the original, yeah. where they had the Australian and the American version. Yes, yeah, so that I, I had was, like in the Mazda Six, I had it was yeah. completely that stuff. Yeah, so that that American side of it cut ties with it because something went sideways, and that's right. the those are the guys from Alaska that that do that. Um, that bring it in but now they're they have their own which is the alaskan and um his name is john i always get it wrong but um really cool dudes uh so what did he have? he asked about morale so i'm not um, i can't dean first see. time messing with morale what's your thoughts on the maxim maximo six and a half components I, I believe you've owned a set of the maximo six and a half components right i have the maximus you have the maximus which so was the the confusing, and they changed it, right? So now it's the Maximo 6.5 Mark II HEs. Yeah. Which used to be the Maximus. And then the Maximo 6.5 is the step up mid base and crossover. Um, that So they took a Maximus, give it a better crossover, better mid, better mid base. It might even be the same mid base. I know it's right. a better crossover, but. Um, no, dude, that's a go-to speaker right there. That's a go-to, yeah. like, Wh dude. which one? Which one? So one of them's like a two hundred R set. One's a three hundred R set. So the Maximus is the cheaper one. The Maximo is the bigger series. That okay, has... so that's the one I got then. I got yes. the one that's not the cheapest, but it's the one step up. So you have the Maximos. Yeah. Yeah. So the Maximus is an entry level price point. Okay, it's a price point speaker. So, right. Right. Um, they, I mean, they're but, still not cheap, but they're, they're no, no, but they're cheap for morels. For morel, right? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. But the, the thing was, is morel needed an inexpensive speaker, so they came up with a Maximus, thinking that people put two and two together. You could put a set of Maximus components up front, Maximo coaxials, or Integras in the rear, and then right, no one was figuring that out. So then they just they changed it to Maximo six point five Mark II HE. The HE means high efficiency, yeah, um, and so now you have it all in one line so people will be like oh i can buy these because <laughs> they'd always go well is there a coaxial to go with it yeah yeah by the maximo <laughs> oh it's not the same it's not the same line man it's yeah can't, it's, this yeah. can't happen <laughs> well uh, you know and my biggest complaint with morale is they're they're like i can't it's like maximo maximus ultras yeah virtus virtus carbon nanos um hybrids elates elates carbon pro right supremo piccolo i would never be able to do that again that was like that's you pulled them all out yeah I, it's, yeah it's too it's too many man it's too many and, and it's it like i like i like good better and best uh that they usually simplifies with me this is the good stuff this is the better stuff this is the best stuff yeah um, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say about the Brax DSP. You know, um, it's a DSP. I mean, the, it, you know, when we were, it's a DSP. I mean, there was no, it's it's not like when we plugged it in, butter, butterflies and and you know flowers yeah. came shooting out of it, and you know, chiclets rained from the sky, and and you know, I I, I feel that a lot of people like when you're using it. Okay, so. What is it? The the Skittles commercial? Taste the rainbow. That really weird commercial where the guys like milking whatever and like Skittles yeah. start pouring out. That's really bizarre. Yeah. I mean, that's that's really what you hope to happen. In the end of the day, it just sounds really good, you know. Right. So it's 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 just it's just part of the puzzle. Like, you know, the whole thing just sounded amazing and, oh, and it was really enjoyable. What's wrong? I I gotta send Bobby a link for side check. Oh, oh yeah. yeah <laughs> I yeah. can't dude, I can't believe that I did that. Yeah. All That's right. Okay. I'm sending out Bobby. Um but you know the it, it, the whole thing was it's an all it's a full package. Okay. So it's just not so like for example, it's kind of like F1. Okay. If you if you buy the F1 system, it's a system. So you get the speakers, the amps, the subs, and all that fun stuff all combined into one. Yeah. Um, when you when you're looking at this this Brax stuff, like like you're not gonna take a sixty five hundred dollar DSP and pair it up with 
couple thousand dollar amplifiers, you know? Right. Um, and then it's like some basic ass speakers. It's, it's, it, it, this is a whole system. This had two of the Brax 2400s in it. This had the Brax, uh, I think it's like the 10, the 30 and the 6.5. Right. Um, and so it was, it was a whole thing. It was it was the, the the single is is only part of it, um, and like I said, the guy was just he's, at night. He literally just sits in his car and listens to his, or he goes in his garage, sits in his car, and listens to his car all night. And weeps. Um, I, Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, this was it was one of the funnest things for me to demo, right? Because you know I just couldn't get him like I couldn't get him to shut up. You know, he's just this is awesome, and I'm like I know, be quiet. You know, he's like, oh, my God. I, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, I got it. Shh, quiet. Let me let me play this, you know. <laughs> so, you know, it, 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 you, you got to understand, too. At the end of this, I was so stressed out. It was it was I just wanted to go. <laughs> right. You know, uh, you know, and it's OK. So that was a funny that, there's a funny, funny thought there that we were, we were talking about uh, in, in all the years of of the 32 plus years of, of doing car audio and all of the cars and all of the, the projects and all every single, it's always like this one was fun, but it's, it needs to be gone. This one was fun. It needs to be gone. This one's stressful. It needs to be gone. You know, yeah. and it's like, it, it's, it's literally just one after there. like that car was gone and it was like on to the next thing. And it didn't even matter what that was. And it was like, yeah. okay, so that that's gone all right let's deal with this headache now and it was like dude literally walked out of that into a headache that headache took two or three days because it was like in the middle of that headache we had to stop and do another headache and it was like oh my god you know I so can't even imagine i get you know, hung up on such small things and like i'll be yeah. just doing an install and i might spend i don't know two hours getting my wires the way i want them to go in just one spot yeah, so I, I couldn't imagine having a deadline like you got to have this done in, in three. You know, and our deadlines are pretty loose, so yeah. it's like, you know, um, someone's asking about this. Uh, Dean, were you really impressed by the DLA car? I've eyeballing some other stuff. DLS, as I was gonna say, isn't it DLS? Yeah, yeah. no, that stuff's pretty. That stuff was really nice sounding. I feel that when I got to hear those cars at Emma, it's it's the best representation of the product. You know, there yeah. wasn't anybody there that was like, I that that what did that car have? Did that car have that thing had the Genesis amps? Oh it's yeah, it's either the, the Genesis or the older Brax amps. But I mean, dude, mm -hmm. like these guys had like, you know, yeah. like it couldn't have gotten any better. <laughs> right. I got a buddy that's running a. Was it eight channel Genesis dual or oh my not dual, like quad mono or something like that? Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it literally goes across the whole back of his vehicle, SQ vehicle. <laughs> That's definitely the installer life. I have a radio and front speaker. Yeah. Oh, no doubt, man. Oh, there's, there's no question. I mean, yeah. I got a whole stereo that needs to go in my car. So here was the funny thing. I was looking at amplifiers. I, 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 I set my mind and I, think i know what amplifiers i want to go with yeah and i was really excited and i got i got they gave me a price on them and then i was like then ah, freaking rational dean set in and was like man we could really use a cnc machine so why would i buy the amplifiers like i could yeah. just get a cnc and it was like that would be way cooler i was like yeah but those amps would be dope and he was like yeah but a cnc would be way better i'm like god damn it <laughs> damn it because i was psyched man i was like uh no. good dance yeah well you think no. now you gotta be like uh hey manufacturer what do you say uh let me try out some of these amps there uh, yeah they weren't having that <laughs> they were, they were, yeah. i'm gonna still try but they weren't having that <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but you know, it was like, uh, yeah. Oh well. Are there only full count? But that could be hearsay. Oh, what are you guys talking about now? I uh, know. Yeah. We. I yeah. missed. I missed all the chat. Actually, it was the Ground Zero amps. I'm not. It was. It's so. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I, I want the. Uh, not the new ones. 
right not the new ones that are coming out because i can't afford those (laughs) (laughs) that's just gonna be worth more than my car um (laughs) but it was it is i i am like really want those yeah god damn i saw them again in orlando and i was like oh Uh, do you know i want i just want to hear an f1 the new f1 status system okay that's that's why I, that's that's my goal this year at a show, whatever show I'm gonna figure out what show they're at. This drivable for me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah. Let's see what I think. See if I could do the Dean unimpressed face during the demo. Dude, I I, I didn't do <laughs> the unimpressed face in that. I was the truck I did the unimpressed face in. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I didn't even know I had an unimpressed face. Although I did have someone ask me the other day, "Cause you ever get excited about anything?" And I go. I mean, yeah. Pizza. Pizza. And they're like, really? And, and Fernando's just looking at me sideways like, I go, okay, listen. <laughs> the answer to the question is no. I don't really ever get that excited. I, I can pretend really well that I'm excited. But no, I don't. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I, I, you know, I grew up with a lot of disappointment in my life. And yeah. uh, just just kind of numb to it all. So... <laughs> I can I'm like, listen, I, I can play the role of the excited guy and, and be all this, but no, the reality is not, I don't really get that excited about anything. It's like, dude, you're going to you're going on vacation. I'm like, yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it means I don't have to kill anybody yet. Yeah. Oh man. Oh nice. He's got a Genesis. There you go. The Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. Those are really nice. I think I I think Derek ordered some custom modded Genesis amps oh, a while nice. back. So, so uh, El Fuego says I finished saving up for my for my Audio Frog GB. That's awesome. Funny story about Andy. If anybody follows Andy, Andy Waymeyer, of course, owner of Audio Frog. Um, I think one of the owners might be more than one. Anyways, um, <laughs> he posted something yesterday. It was freaking hilarious about how. Uh, which so it made me laugh just because doing what we do we get a lot of people not not necessarily you guys but yeah um uh, telling us how how to do shit and it's like okay um and and he was people were telling and he was on his audio frog page and it says admin and they were literally telling him how to do stuff and how he was wrong and, and, and whatnot. And I'm like, I think, I think it started like, I think I'm going to have to kick myself off of my own page, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I mean, I, I get it. Like I get, if you just walk in the store and somebody sells you audio frog, like you're not yeah. going to know who Andy Waymires, but if you're like on the fan page, you yeah, you know, yeah, might, yeah. I mean, you'd think you'd know who he is. I mean, right. Right just just like it's like you know when you when you're yeah oh just james b lansing guy's a freaking moron <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like yeah uh, so yeah. what what what, what re- one of the reasons why it really resonated with me which i thought it was funny was because um this guy said to me in a comment he was looking at one of the 911s and he was he was he was upset in, in expressing concern because of how upset and uh, disappointed I was with the way these people had done this guy dirty. Right. And he made the argument that I'm sure and this is what I think is funny. It's like you weren't there. You, you don't understand. You, you're seeing this world that I'm creating for you. All right. Yeah. Because that's that's what it is. I know what happened. I was there. Like, <laughs> yeah. and then I sculpted that into this entertaining video that you got to watch. Okay. So arguing with me about how it actually happened is kind of dumb. We'll just say that. Right. What's up? But they love to argue. They do love to argue. And so he was expressing that I I that the customer probably did the install himself. And that he's embarrassed and that he lied to me and said that this shop, may, you know, that, that I made, you know, and there was all this. I'm like, no, yeah. no, 
You, and I'm like, clearly you're new to the channel because for one thing, you know, if you if you knew me, you'd know I hate filming 911s. <laughs> Absolutely hate it because yeah. somebody got fucked. Uh -huh. Hardcore. And, and then they like, had to double pay. Like, yeah. not only did they have to pay for this mess, now they got to pay me double to fix it. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's like the yeah. dumbest shit ever. So I had to write a... Normally I would ignore it, but I was in one of those moods where it's like, you know what? No. Uh -uh. I'm going in. I'm going you, you in don't, You this. don't get a pass on this one. So <laughs> I don't know what he rebutted to me because it's, you know, 500 posts gone now, so who cares? But, yeah. Uh, right it's like you said your piece and it's like you just dropped the mic i i do like on, on my like so my videos i don't mind like someone having a comment like oh you did this wrong you did this wrong because i'm not a professional yeah if you if you came into my job where i've worked for 20 years and it tried to tell me that i've done something wrong or i don't know how to do it right we're gonna have some very in-depth conversations about what you do do and do not know versus what I do and, and do not know. So yeah. like it's a totally different situation. Like if I was a professional doing cardio videos, yeah, maybe I wouldn't take it, you know, like, oh, okay. Constructive. Well, I mean, the, the, I mean, the reality is you can see my body of work. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like here, just like the idiot that thought, you know, I actually said, turn the gains all the way up. Um, so Sean, that's that's an interesting topic that you bring up there. So Audio Frog is charging six hundred for an amp another company has for three fifty, and Andy talks as if his amp is the 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 bespoke best spoke design. Yeah. Um, so I I will rebut that there again, knowing Andy, knowing the amplifiers, knowing that there's actually not one company that sells a clone of the amplifier. There's a second company that sells a clone of the amplifier, and just because something uses the same piece of aluminum does not make it the same amplifier. All right. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Um, it's called a build house. And when you have an amplifier built, such as Andy did, Andy knows the engineer that uh, this project, they've been working on this particular project since 2018, I think. Um, Cause if you go back to, uh, our video from Indy, uh, Knowledge Fest Indy, Andy actually has the amplifier in his back pocket and he pulls it out and shows everyone at that show. That's how long Andy has been working on that particular version of this amplifier. It's not right. a flash in the night. It's not something that like just all of a sudden he started doing. He's literally been working on the design of this amplifier uh, with his team uh, for a while. Okay, so... Right. so it's not like it just came out um, and it's not like, you know, so there is some history there. And if you're an amplifier manufacturer, um, for example, let's look at the uh, Scar Audio RP line of amplifiers, right? Right. right. Common looking amplifier, correct? Right. Um, Definitely. How many people use that heatsink design? Quite a few. I can but... think of one in particular that, prides himself on being an amplifier designer. Yeah, Zapco. Zapco uses that too. No, I was thinking of the other guy that put up a post saying like how many companies design or build their own PCBs and all this other crap. Oh, yeah. Okay. There, um, there's quite a few, yeah. But quite a few people use that uh -huh. heatsink, okay? Yeah. It's it, And there again, nothing wrong with that. I, right. I have no problem with it. It's a heatsink. It's a piece of aluminum, okay? But to compare an RP... Scar audio to let's say a Tony Diamore amplifier, right? <laughs> like, yeah. come on, man! Just because the heat sinks the same, so just because one thing looks like another doesn't necessarily mean it's the same thing. Skittles do not taste like M and M's. Yeah. Okay. Well, has Wish.com taught you nothing? Because, <laughs> because you'll get a lot of stuff that looks like something else, but it's definitely not not the original. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that, that's what I'll say about Andy. I'm I'm not defending yeah. Andy in any way. Um, he, I I know Andy personally. He's a nice guy. I love the guy. He's he was he's always he will always answer any question you ask him. He is there for us. We've looked at the amplifiers. Um. They're, they're great amplifiers. They sound amazing. Yeah. I mean, so it, 
you, you got to understand that there's there's more to it than just a heat sink. OK, and that's that's all I can say to that. But, yeah. you know, and and even if, if there is there are amps out there where that is the case, where they're basically the same, the same exact amps. And oh, and, yeah, in, in that in that case, just get the one that makes you happy. I mean, right. What, what's the matter? Okay, I have both amps here, and I'm doing component comparison on the auto front of the B2 and using lots of the same stuff. Hey, and then yeah. publish it. It's all that's all you can do. I mean, yeah. the reality is just publish it. If if you're taking them both apart, um, you're not going to get them back together very easily. But if if you're good at doing that sort of thing, then yeah, because you know, that was the one thing he asked us not to do was take them apart, only because. But he sent us pictures of it taken apart. Right, uh, because of you have to replace the heat transfer pad, and we don't have the stuff to do that. So, you know, but no, hey man, if if, if you find similarities in the amplifiers, take pictures, post it, yeah. show it. You know, ask questions. I don't. I'm just, you know, there again. There's there's three companies that use that same that same config on that, and I'm that that I've found right. along you know two others other than Audio Frog. So, um, yeah. That's how it be sometimes. <laughs> That's how it be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Illusion but, you know, audio is the bomb. Well, I th I think a lot of people just get like they get. I I hate the build house thing. I hate I hate I hate the build house thing. Yeah. Because people get so fixated on this was built here, so I can get this from here. Like this yeah. is just two totally different things. Like. This company A may be a company like Kickford, Kicker, or Rockford, or JL, or right. some other reputable company, and they're doing a lot of QA testing. They're sending in their very specific designs. They have their own circuits, and then it could be company B, which is a budget company that you've never heard of that's doing pre-order sales, so you're paying for their product, and then you get it later on once they get it, and they never had to really put even skin in the game. Um, this just getting something off the shelf, and you're like, "Oh, well, that's the same." Well, it, it's not the same. So, Pioneer makes a hundred percent ripoff of a JBL of a JL amplifier. Like it's it's a hundred percent knockoff. Yeah. Like, I mean, same same everything, even down to the crossovers where you you, you adjust the crossovers and they tick, and you can count the ticks to tell what crossover point it is. I yeah. mean, it's 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 identical. It's hilarious. I was talking to J, JL about it, and they're like. Holy crap! We didn't even know. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, here yeah. it is, right here." I mean, it's it's yeah. it's identical, and they're like, "Holy shit!" You know, yeah. wonder how that happened. I'm like, "Really?" Mm. Um, you know, so a funny story about like cap capacitor design and all that other shit. Um, so, uh, if anybody saw the trip to to Salzburg, and when we were talking with the Ground Zero, who I, who I call Swedish Peter, I said, "Tell me five things about this amplifier." Um, the capacitors that they use in those amplifiers, they wanted the best capacitors that they could, that money could buy. They were like, I, we need them to do this specific thing. There was one company in Japan, I think that made the capacitors to do it. However, they were square and they're like, shit, we can't use those because as soon as we use those, everybody will know the capacitor that we use and they'll, they'll knock it off. Yeah. And so <laughs> They took that capacitor to a place in Germany that builds capacitors. It's like the, the best place in Germany to have. And they were like, hey, can, can you make this? And, you know, a couple months later, they came back like, no, we can't make it. And they're like, what do you mean you can't make it? It's like the closest we can get is like 0.98%. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that'll work, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But what it ended up with is they got a round capacitor that's 100% unique. It, they're the only ones that get it. So when the knockoff companies come in, they're not going to be able to get that capacitor, you know? Yeah. And, it, and it's an important part of the amplifier, obviously. So it's like, boom, there you go. They'll just make one that looks like it. And then be like, everyone's like, oh, it's the same amp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's the same I, thing. It's got the same, yeah, heat. same, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Got the same heat, 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 uh, shrink wrap on it. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty neat. Yeah. So what's so, your most expensive piece? All right, go ahead. Listen, what I've learned is you went to Europe and your favorite thing uh, about Europe 
with Swedish Peter. Swedish Peter was cool. <laughs> Dude, Swedish Peter is awesome, man. Yeah. Because he 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 immediately walked. Okay, listen. I'm easily I'm easily won over. You know, when you walk up to me and you introduce yourself and you say hi, yeah, that's cool. You know, and yeah. and and this this guy did that, man. And it's like, hey, I love your guys' show. I watch your channel. I was so excited to find out you were coming here and you're gonna be with us. And I was like, oh, freaking awesome, you know. <laughs> I mean, I love that shit. I mean, why wouldn't you? You know, you, right. you feel like you know, you you've done a good job. I mean, I'll take a pat on the back. I'm I'm not inhuman, you know. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> no, I might but... not be like, woo, but I'll be like, dang, thanks, you know. You know, I put a lot of hours into this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because I can tell up, you all bro. the things I didn't like about it, like the water was terrible. Ugh, oh, God. no gas, water, no, no gas. Just, just, just no bottle, man. Just, just yeah. give me, give me tap. Tap was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I was thinking about it the other. I was like, tap water tasted so good, but man, I'm sure there's a bacteria infection there just waiting to happen. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, you have no idea how old those pipes are. I mean, yeah. shit. <laughs> well, it's like like going going to Mexico. It's like you gotta have the water, bottled water. It's yeah, like... but they probably have like you know real bottled water that isn't you know. Oh yeah, yeah, not stupid, weird, stuff. strange shit that. Apparently they add sodium to their water there. I, I don't know why, but you know, yeah. between the smokers and the sodium in the water, I guess you're all right. <laughs> yeah, it's not a hardship of asking for a Coca Cola, <laughs> dude. It was. They didn't even know what it was. Literally on the menu in front of them, I just point. Yeah. I'm like Coca Cola, huh? Coca Cola, yeah. dude. This right here on the, the, your menu has a freaking like on your. It was on the uh, the the little holder on the table that holds all the bullshit. Had yeah. Coca Cola logo. I pointed that. And then she said something, and I had no idea what. And I go, sure. Which, listen, which brings me right into the Boring Life, the Haley edit. Oh, yeah. And so I, I got to the Coca-Cola scene, which is funny because I think after the show last week, I mentioned something about it. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, we tried that. Wait. Well, so Beverly's horrible. We can agree. Like yeah. Beverly is the Italian, and then you tasted one worse. So I don't know that I've tasted that. Oh, the Chinese one. When I tried it, Beverly was by far the worst. Yeah. So this must be a new one. That, Dude, that's this is straight rotation. shit water. I mean, it is literally <laughs> like they take soda water and they just. I'm thinking they put um sewage. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, um, it's like a com. It's so. What do you put on soy sauce? So it's like it's just straight oh, like like salty? Like yeah, it's just straight like soy barbecue sauce. It just tastes like you know, like when you uh, get like uh you you know when you get the barbecue ribs from the yeah. oriental place and they just have yeah. that like what are you guys Sticky? putting on this? Like, like you're not you're not putting uh baby rays on there. <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, we put our own. Yeah. Uh, dude, yeah. they that's like have you ever had so sorry, we done car audio, guys. We're talking food now. Have you ever had the like the, <laughs> the next show, <laughs> right? <laughs> so like the fake barbecue chips, yes. but not like but not like not, not like Lay's barbecue, which are acceptable. Yeah. I'm talking like the baby Ray's barbecue chips. No, disgusting, dude. They are okay. So there's only horrific. Listen, when it comes to barbecue chips, there's only one barbecue chip that you eat. What's that? Fritos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can eat the Fritos. I can eat. That's it. I can no, eat the, not Lay's. the Lay's, but the actual Frito barbecue. Other than that, yeah. I don't even yeah. really like the Lay's. It's Me neither. Like, but they're acceptable like, versus yeah. this. This is horrific. I so they had the Sweet Baby Rays, and then they also have um, the cheap brand like the Keps or Kefs or whatever the crap yeah, that garbage. is. Garbage. Yeah, and it, it's like, um, what's it like? I think it's like barbecue rib, chi barbecue ribs chips. No, they're they're gross. They're yeah. They're also, let me also Listen, shout out voodoo chips that are also horrible. I'm a uh, as we all know, I'm a pretty basic guy. Yeah. So when it comes to chips, I'm a really basic chip guy. You know, yeah, it's me like, too. I like Doritos and I like Doritos. Every now and then I'll be a cool ranch go out on the edge, but yeah. I like Lay's wavy chips. Ruffle, I like Ruffles. Yeah, Ruffles. Yeah, Ruffles. I like Ruffles. I don't like Lay's. I like Ruffles. You know, I like pretzels yeah. i'm just i'm it, like i'm as basic like i'll try all the exotic shit because why not 
but no. No. I, I like cool. basic lays. Basic lays are my, my favorite. So and boring. then ruffles I, are close. I, I, I can't do basic lays because the yeah. ruffles, the texture, I like the texture. Yeah. But I'm not a I'm not like lays. Cause you know, when I was a kid, you had, you know, the big cans you had and had the pret- the chips in it and shit, you know, the guys would come around and fill you up with, you know, that tin can that uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell they were called. But, um, and so we always had that crap and it was just like, wait, where did you land on the puffy Cheetos? Oh, I like the puffy Cheetos. Yeah. Who does? Listen, who's you, you're talking like Cheetos? a $2 bag puff Cheetos for yeah. Like who who's ranking the regular Cheetos the little crunchy ones over the puffies, like oh, the puffies know. win every time. Yeah, yeah, but there's Dude, there's a bag in the there. cabinet right now. There's psychopaths out there that would rather have the other ones. Well, go for it. Hey, you know yeah. what? Knock yourself out, bro. We can still be friends. <laughs> Just I won't eat your chips because I don't <laughs> like. I don't know. Those taste like packaging foam with orange shit on them. Yeah. You know, I it's, agree. it's just gross. I like, I even every now and then I'll get a bag of the, uh, the popcorn flavored puffy. Oh yeah. 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 The, which the is, butter. Which they is, have like a butter yeah. popcorn kind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is good. You know, the nice thing is, is they're like no calories. I'm sure the sodium is through the roof, but the calorie count right. out there again, is like, <laughs> you could eat like half a bag and it's like, yeah. that was like a hundred calories. This is always like, okay. So you get the chips and put them on sandwich. This is always like you've been on the lake all day, or you've been at the beach, you've been on the water doing something, and that that sandwich with the chips on it, it just hits different. It could be bologna yeah. even, and it's yeah. Gonna, well, it was it's bologna. Gonna, yeah. It often I was. Do, I can't. I can't do anything kettle. I don't like the flavor of kettle stuff. Like the girls, like Sue. Yeah. Oh, when kettle corn came out, Jesus Christ! You, oh, like you think <laughs> you'd think it was like oh. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking gross. Yeah, you know, it was funny. I wanted some microwave popcorn the other night. I was like, man, you know, like the once every eight months that I'm like, I could really go for some microwave popcorn right now while I'm right. watching this cool movie. Um, and uh, I pull a bag out, and I was just about ready to put it in. I go, is this shit cow corn? <laughs> I walked back over to the box. I go, oh man, it's kettle corn. <laughs> Damn it! Threw it back. What, in the was box. your spotty sense of tiggling? Yeah, there was, there was, it was just one of those moments. Like, did you check? And I was like, shit. Yeah. So I went back into the cabinet and back in the corner. It was probably out of date. I don't know. I found one bag of butter popcorn. I was like, all right. Uh, just kind of hope. You know. Yeah. I was like, I, but, uh. wait. Have you ever had? Have you ever had the pork rinds that, that pop like in the microwave? No, I know what you're talking about. Dude. We've we've had them here, yes, but I don't. Yeah, dude, those um, a little bit of Cholula, man. I'm telling you, uh, the ketchup chips suck, man. And I'm from Canada. I will I agree with them. you wholeheartedly. Um, uh, Canadian Marty sent us a bag of those because he lives up in Canada. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, they were gross. They were so disgusting. Neither one of us took that bag home. <laughs> Dude, I, was, right. I, I here's what I want to happen. We gotta get Fro on, and we gotta have like for side jags, especially. We gotta have like weird food tasting shit because he's already sent us stuff to try. So now we have to like we have to figure out what he needs to try. Hmm. We got we gotta schedule that. I suck at that, but I will I will I will put, <laughs> I will put my assistant on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, I know you hear me back there. Uh, that'd be it'd be Haley or Fernando. I'd yeah. pick one. The, the, she no, no, please. She, she's know. done shipping all your stuff. She no, she'll ship it. She's just basic <laughs> when it comes to that. She's more basic than I am. Oh I man. Mean, oh yeah. She's like, what do you want? Uh, can I get a steak? Really? Yeah. I mean, they have. I mean, no. Hey, listen, Sue's speaking to my heart. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I, I totally understand. I yeah. totally understand. <laughs> Uh, real vanilla ice cream. It matters not the ice milk crap. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, no one's gonna yeah. argue that. I, I mean, think. no, no. I mean, yeah. it's funny. You know, I laugh at like how popular Oreo cookie ice cream is now. You yeah, know, like, you can go buy Oreo cookie ice cream because when I was a kid, like we were making our own Oreo cookie ice cream. Like we would buy the store brand shitty Oreos that weren't Oreos. You know, sandwich Hydrox. cookies. It wasn't even Hydrox, man. It was just <laughs> yeah. whatever. You know crappy brand you know we'd be beating them in, in ziploc bags with hammers on the counter right literally with hammers 
and then you know we you, you would you get the, you wouldn't get the gallon of ice cream you'd get that that or the half gallon you'd get the right. gallon of ice cream of yeah, the cheap shit. brand like oh, the yeah. six dollar gallon yeah i know yeah yeah and you were like Mix them in. and then you'd like you know you gotta before... let it defrost a little bit so you can mix it well, easier, yeah right? yeah well that yeah. was the thing though i mean this was way before cold stone and, and all those places we were we were doing yeah. that shit you know we're just because and it's funny too because we had this giant marble cutting board just like those guys oh we, yeah we didn't know we were ahead of our time but we would literally drop it on there and just and then go sit and eat this shit and you know when someone finally came out with with Oreo cookie ice cream, it was like, we don't Dude. have to make this shit anymore. Let's buy that. <laughs> exactly. Listen, before we sign off, I got a hilarious Cassie story here. Not Cassie and Chat, my Cassie. Yeah. So we eat Brahms ice cream. We eat ice cream around here. It's like a local spot. They have. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, I've yeah. talked about I've, it before. I've I've heard. We're yeah. We're, okay. We're so waiting to try this. They call theirs cookies and cream, right? Just yep. cookies and cream is the generic. Well, we were at Baskin Robbins, and I tell her, just get me a single scoop cookies and cream. So she's in the drive through She orders what she wants. She's like, um, you know, single, so single scoop cookies and cream. The lady receives like, uh, okay, that's a single scoop Oreo uh, ice cream. And she's like, no, no, no. A single scoop cookies and cream. And I heard her, and I was like, I'm just going to let it go. So she was so she, she just That's so mean. So, so so the lady's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. A single scoop of Oreo ice cream and then whatever else you order. And she's like, No. I said, and I saw I was like, Cassie. I was like, Oreo ice cream, they just have the branded stuff. What we normally eat is cookies and cream. It's the same thing. It's cool. I'm cool with the Oreo stuff. She's like, Oh, I didn't even think about that. Dude. You gotta think about that. She went to bat for her man. Bro. She did, yeah, yeah. She. Bro, hey. I don't want that branded shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that generic. Right. My nothing but the best. He asked for the generic. Yeah. shit. you go get him some generic cookies and cream. Fuck that Oreo shit. Hey, she, just, she just didn't even put two and two and two together. You know dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. I mean, wow. dude, and when we could make it with like real ice cream and real Oreos, it was like. Like yeah. we're we're freaking special. <laughs> oh god, child. Head of the great. game. You guys were head of the game. Oh yeah, not really. <laughs> we were just broke ass <laughs> white people <laughs> trying to pretend like we had something. Mm. You ain't got none of this. <laughs> oh. All Guess right, what? guys. So this is, with this Uncle is Bobby last, B. This is the last one for two weeks. So we're off for two weeks. We're off for two weeks. Uh, for two weeks cool. however the second week i will be live on our channel we will have larry penn and the crew from msc uh in in-house talking about some new helix products that are coming out so you definitely we'll talk more about that as it gets closer maybe um because i'll be on vacation but uh, <laughs> yeah so look forward to that and then we'll be back and have more fun on the serious show that this is very serious show Good. Thank you guys for playing with us tonight. Yeah, get cookies and cream. Never, never get the Oreo ice cream. I know. I really want cookies and cream now. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all.